Problem 3. Integral of 3x plus 14 over x squared plus 8x plus 16. We factor. We see that we have two of the same factors, x plus 4 and x plus 4, which is a little unusual. And often students will say, well, I'll just make two fractions, both having x plus 4. So I have a over x plus 4 plus b over x plus 4. But there's a slight problem here. So we'll take a look at what that problem is. And the problem is, thinking of this as two fractions being added together, a over x plus 4 plus b over x plus 4 already has a common denominator. a and b are numbers. So if I were doing this in a forward fashion, I would end up getting a plus b being added together over only 1x plus 4. So there's no way I would ever get x plus 4 times x plus 4 in that denominator. So instead, we create the one fraction, a over x plus 4, but we have to introduce a larger denominator in the second piece, which is b over x plus 4 squared. This kind of problem in most textbooks is called the repeated linear factors. From here on out, it's the same as all the rest. We multiply both sides by the common denominator of x plus 4, x plus 4. Of course, on the left, the entire denominator disappears and you get 3x plus 14. On the right, we hop across, we do one at a time. So we're going to cross out those first sets of x plus 4. So it leaves a with a leftover of the other x plus 4. Then we go over to the b, and both the x plus 4s cross out with both the x plus 4s underneath that b, and we end up just getting plus b. Now if you notice, if we were to use convenient values, we only have 1, which is x is equal to negative 4. So we have two unknowns, but only one convenient value. This still can be done by convenient values, but I choose to use another type of process, which is called equating the coefficients. So we take our 3x plus 14 equal to a times x plus 4 plus b. I distribute the a to get 3x plus 14 is equal to ax plus 4a plus b. Take a look at 3x plus 14 is equal to ax plus 4a plus b. The only x term on the left is 3x. The only x term on the right is ax. So that means that a better be 3. The 14 on the left, which is the only constant, well, on the right, there's two constants, 4a plus b. So that's going to imply the 14 must equal that 4a plus b, which, of course, has lots of different solutions. So we have 3x is equal to ax. Again, a is 3. What do we do with the other one? We have 4a plus b is equal to 14. But we know what a is. It's 3. So 4 times 3 plus b. And when we solve that, we'll get b is equal to 2. So now we know that the integral of 3x plus 14 over x squared plus 8x plus 16 can be broken down into two distinct integrals, 3 over x plus 4 plus 2 over x plus 4 quantity squared. Be careful with the integration. Uh, we're going to let u equal x plus 4 in both cases to use dx. Now, 3 integral of 1 over x plus 4 will turn into a 1 over u. But on the other hand, the integral of 1 over x plus 4 squared will become 1 over u squared. So don't get those two confused. We have 3 integral of 1 over u du plus 2 integral of 1 over u squared du. And we're going to use the power rule on the second one. So we're going to bring that u squared up top to become 2 integral of u to the negative 2. And again, 1 over u du is certainly the natural log. So I have 3 natural logs of u. Use the power rule on the second integral to get 2 u to the negative 1 over negative 1, which when we simplify that a little bit, we get negative 2 over u. And back subbing, we get an answer of 3 natural logs of the absolute value of x plus 4 minus 2 over x plus 4 plus c.